Oh my gosh, it's griddle goulash. So we'll start off our ingredient list with our spice mixture, which is one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, half a tablespoon of paprika, one teaspoon each of minced garlic and seasoning salt. Slow down, camera ain't done yet. Half a teaspoon each of sugar and black pepper. Up here, we got one cup of chopped sweet peppers, one cup of chopped onion. And then up here is one little package of fully cooked microwavable elbow pasta. This is not a traditional goulash. Normally, you cook the pasta in the sauce and let it simmer down. I adapted. Make your own pasta if you want to save a little time. If you got it, I love an electric skillet or a little burner, even when I'm griddling. One can of petite diced tomatoes, one can of tomato sauce, one can of beef broth, and one pound 80-20 ground beef. And one cup of cheese. I went Colby Jack, but pretty much any of your favorite shredded cheese will work. Still made a lightly old and 425 degrees Fahrenheit for this griddle goulash. Let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my ground beef, my onions, and peppers down. Let them start golden it up. Give them a little tossy toss over here, some butter down, whatever you want to do here. Give them a little love tap there so they know I care. Mm, we're off to a good start. So about three minutes have passed. I'm going to give them a little toss around. They're starting to golden up nice. That's how I'm wanting them to look right now. They're going to simmer ever so slightly as we progress through this cook. I don't want them mushy. So I would like to get some nice color on them, a little bit of a nice sear in some ways, maybe. We'll see how it goes, but I ain't too worried about it right now. We'll let them keep doing their thing. But another thing's doing its thing. We got to check it doing its thing. That's our beef. And yeah, just enough to start getting a little nice crust on it. That's what I'm wanting. We'll do the other side a little bit too. We'll come back and check them out. Here's your close up first. Enjoy that ASMR action. Another three minutes of pass, let's give it a check. Mm, yeah, now my favorite part. Time for the choppy chop. Gonna give it a choppy chop. Choppy chop, chop till it drops. Chop it here, chop it there. Chop it everywhere, chop it diagonally. And this way too, that's how we do. And this way too, we're gonna tear it here. And let it sear, toss it around, and let it brown. Believe it or not, I just made that up. If you somehow suffered through it, comment your favorite song and we'll confuse some people. Anyway, in goes the peppers and onions. <laughs> no, they really are going to go in, but I'm not going to sing this step. Anywho, I'm going to mix them in real good. You see some of them a little bit more done than others. That's just different shades of flavor we got going on. I love it. Let them absorb some of that fat drippings from the beef as we go. Obviously, this is not health food, but I'm going to enjoy it, I think. ASMR sizzle me timbers. So I've worked it around for about three minutes. I'm going to pat it down and make a little well. This is something I do a lot on the griddle. Just kind of give a little place to hold the liquids I'm going to put in so it doesn't run as bad. It's not always perfect, but it definitely helps. I'm going to come in with a little beef broth here. Just pour a little in, start working that flavor into our peppers and onions. All I'm going to do is just work it in with the spatulas. Just toss it around. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it again because twice is nice. Same process. If you're wondering how much I've used, about half a can of the beef broth at this point. Nothing too crazy. Just kind of let it work in real nice. You'll see some of it will sizzle down. Just keep working it in. It'll evaporate. It'll flavor. And we'll savor. So it's been about a minute. You can see I'm pushing it back over closer to camera. I was just working it around the griddle as I worked it together to kind of evaporate down that beef broth. You can see on the edge we got some simmering though because it's time for the spices. I'm just going to dump that in there. It's right here. Just a little traditional spice mixture overall. Come on, paprika. Join your buddies. Yeah, you're being stubborn. Straight and shake. Nope. Ain't coming out. Anywho, I'm going to take my little spatulas here. Kind of toss it around. You want to spread it really good. Get this mixed out well. Heating this up just a little bit is going to really elevate our flavor to the next level. That's right. I'm taking us up to the fifth floor. That may not sound that high, but it's only a six-story building. So you can see our colors come along nicely. I think I made a little well, and I'm going to slowly pour in this entire can of tomato sauce. Just like that. It may leak out a little bit, don't matter. Then we'll start working it in. Now if you watch as I work this in, you'll see the tomato sauce on the edges and stuff will start bubbling like right there and simmering down. 
it's just reducing that's what i'm wanting it to do that's the flavor infusion going on with the peppers and the meat and stuff like that i know this is not a traditional way of doing goulash i also like to make soups and chilies and stuff like that even casseroles on the griddle i like how i can do it all in one place and it's fun trying to adapt recipes to it so if you want to try something different i probably got a video for it and if i don't suggest it to me i'll give it a try anyway i'm gonna let that simmer and do its thing i'm gonna put some butter down here right here is where it's going to start kind of starting to come together maybe look a little goulashy goulashy i don't know if that's a word or anything like that but the reason i'm doing this is because i'm gonna come in with her little macaroni the little elbow macaroni i showed earlier probably off camera a little bit but i'm gonna pour it on the butter didn't even heat this up in the microwave this is straight from the package i'm gonna kind of let it heat up in the butter kind of get a little colorization going on to it like we have with everything else it'll pick up some of the little remnants from the rest of the cook we've been doing so far bring a lot of flavor out just squirt a little water in there kind of let it steam up this right here is already cooked to a pretty nice little firmness i want you know probably around al dente maybe a little less as we cook it and toss it though we're gonna let it reduce down the noodles will get nice and tender but they're still gonna have a nice little bite to them just kind of keep working that i want to make sure i do not burn it that would be very very saddening to me right now no time for sadness time for petite diced tomatoes I'm going to pour this whole can in there, juice and all. Let them juices just run and swim throughout this mixture. And I'm going to mix it in real nice like we've done for the rest of this cook. When it mixed really well, that'll let these tomatoes kind of cook down and get some good flavor absorption going on. Hey, say cheese, please. Whole cup of cheese. Like I said, I'm using Colby Jack. Whatever floats your boat should work here. Typically an orange type cheese. Pour in a little beef broth just to kind of keep it going. Then I'm going to take my spatulas. And I'm gonna mix this well let that cheese melt down and kind of become one With the tomato sauce and the tomato mixture and meat mixture and peppers and onions all that it all becomes one one big happy goulashy family I think you may be able to see it's kind of got a little bit more of an orangey texture after the cheese melted down I'm gonna put a little bit more butter down for my noodles keep working on them the rest of the butter is gonna go in the sauce just want to keep turning, like I say, pretty much if it ain't turning, wait, if it ain't burning, it ain't burning if it's turning. That's what I'm going for. Just going to mix this all in real nice and well. Oh, we're getting so close. Let's get a close up. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm. Look at the flavor bits these noodles picked up. Noodles come home. That's right. I'm just going to work these noodles into the tomato we meat mixture we've been working on. Start mixing them in really well with our spatulas. I like to let it simmer for a couple minutes. Add a little bit more beef broth if you need to, depending on how much it's reduced down, what type of consistency you're wanting. We're going to mix it well, though, because we want that sauce to this really course throughout all the crevices of the noodle. Wait, crevices, crevasses, vase, vase, tomato, tomato. Uh, anyway, just mix it well. Mm, I wish you could smell it. it. Smells great. Let's get the taste test table. Try it out. All right, so we made it back to the taste test table, and like I said, we have a goulash it's working could be a little bit more soupy depending on how you like it i like it nice and thick uh maybe would have put a little bit more noodles in it just by looking but hey i think this will work to give a start and i can always have the sauce ready as i do now and add more to it later that being said though you can see i melted a little cheese and a little parsley to garnish on there too live life i say Let's give it a try mm -hmm. Smells really good. Ooh, I don't know if you can see it. There is a lot of steam coming off this. A lot of steam. So, really smells like lasagna. You know, there's a lot of key similarities here between this and pasta, lasagna, stuff like that. A lot of differences too, though. And, honestly, griddle goulash is more fun to say than griddle spaghetti or something. So let's give it a try. I know you're like, dude, quit stirring it and eat it. Put it in your mouth. Let's do it. I'll listen. All right, let's do this. Mmm. That, my friends, is some good comfort food. All the flavors are there. Of course they're there. I put them in there, right? But, you know, typically 
This is more, this is the American goulash style uh, that you would normally see. This right here, normally you'd boil the noodles in the broth and stuff. Like I said, I was trying to do an easy griddle adaptation of that. And this right here, you know, one of the biggest things I use on, uh, especially when I'm using the steel made, which is the, goes on my stove in my house, is an electric skillet or, you know, a little burner or something like that separate to boil uh, noodles and stuff like that. And uh, this right here is a lot easier. Just rip it open, put it in there. It's also pretty easy to boil noodles too, though. So whatever works best for you, this right here, I think the flavor, um, I kind of picked multiple. I mean, my goodness, there's just tons of recipes online for this. And uh, I kind of threw something together. First time I've ever made it. Took some of one site that I like, took some from another and another and another. And I like the little taste I got going on here. This right here is going to stick to the bones. Obviously, a lot of the stuff I've had throughout the years has stuck to the bones. But mama says, it's just baby fat. I believe that. Anywho, with that being said, I really appreciate, as always, you taking the time to watch these videos. I love making them. I hope you enjoy watching them. And also appreciate any help I can get to help the channel grow. Um, had a lot of growth here the past little bit, and I appreciate people sharing the word of the channel. And uh, I'm just a guy that loves food, and I love sharing my love of food with whoever wants me to share that love with. Um, great people. You're great people. Really appreciate everything, though. But if you just help me grow, spread the word, appreciate it. Shameless plug. Anywho, really appreciate it if you consider, if you haven't done so already, to like, comment, subscribe. Much appreciated for realsies. Share. Sharing is caring. And tur- Oop, that was close. About flung some goulash all over. Wait, where? Like, only oh, subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when new content is added to the channel. Appreciate you. Once again, for the thousandth time, I'll never stop appreciating you. Until next time. Garrett the Griddler saying, until next, <sighs> yeah, we'll just roll with it. I'm Garrett the Griddler. Till next time, let's keep, I am all bum fuzzled right now. Till next time, I'm Garrett the Griddler saying, <clears throat> <sighs> they used to call me one take Jake. That's back in my prime. Now I'm just, I can't do it. And if you're still watching anyway. Until next time, I'm Garrett the Griddler saying, let's keep cooking. Mm. Oh, hey there. Did you know that goulash originated from Hungary? You know why they invented it? It's hungry. <laughs> oh. Hey, what's a zombie's favorite food? Goulash. Almost went down there. <laughs>